Here's a bunt defense drill. Um, I would recommend this for probably uh, even an 8U. You could start at 9U and on up. Uh, it's, it's a great drill to, to work on. Um, there's not a lot of teams that bunt like we do. You know, like I said, if you guys aren't bunting at least three or four times a game on the offensive side of things, um, you know, we need to talk. It's something we really need to do. But we should learn how to have a, a bunt defense, and it's certainly going to be important as they get older. Um, so I teach, and as a club, we have two bunt defenses. We have uh, what we refer to as black or red. Black is wheel, red is read. It's just easier to remember it that way. I'm going to walk you through what each one of them are, and then you can certainly, uh, you know, discuss that. So, um, read is, well, let's go on black. Black is a simple butt defense where you just want to record an out. Um, you're not really considered. It's not something that you're concerned with. It's not the end of the game. You don't have a winning run, potentially being advanced. Uh, you just want an out. Uh, read is... We're going to be a little bit more of a gambler. Uh, we're going to try to cut down that runner because it's probably more important to later in the game. So as a coach, you'll simply out yell out black or uh, red, and then everyone will know what their assignments are. And it's real simple. So if you call for a uh, black, which is the wheel defense, okay, everyone is going to is going to wheel to to the base, okay. So um, you know, simple the. Uh, First baseman's going to crash, pitcher's going to crash, third baseman's going to crash, uh, shortstop, you know, sorry to draw him on here, he's going to obviously come over to cover, uh, second baseman's going to come over and cover. We want the out basically at first. Um, there's really, you know, there may be another runner on, obviously they're bunting, maybe they're bunting for a hit, or maybe, you know, tech to tendencies of this batter. If that batter, if they're doing it right, they move up in the box, when they hit in the box, look for the bunt. Obviously, younger ages are going to tip a lot of times. They look like they're going to bunt. You just call, you know, black. Everybody knows, hey, get over there. This this second baseman, if you feel like they're going to bunt, they should start to move over a little bit. Uh, and then just crash and get that out. Now, if we call red, then it's a read defense. Um, and you want to read to see if you potentially have an out at third. Because that's probably what they're trying to do is advance that runner to third. Uh, and so what we'll do in the read defense... Um, let me erase all this here real quick. So on the read defense, we want an out. Uh, we want an out either way, but we ideally want to cut down that runner. So what we're going to do in that case is there's a runner probably over here. And we call read, so a red, which is read. And what's going to happen is uh, the third baseman's going to stay home. He's going to just cover the base, go right there. Uh, the pitcher's duties is after the pitch, he's going to come in and kind of come across. He's got to get everything middle, left. And then the uh, first baseman, he's got to come straight in. So they're, you're, we're covering the entire front of the plate with, in essence, catcher plus two defenders, okay? Uh, the uh, second baseman, he's, of course, coming over here. If for some reason, and so what ends up happening when we call it read is the catcher is going to read the play. If he feels like there's an out at third, he's just going to yell three, three, three. Whoever gets the ball is going to turn, throw it to third. Let's get the out. Uh, if we feel like there's no out, we just want to get the out of first. Cover, we're going to go to first, get the out there. Um, we want an out, but that one's a little bit more risky, but it's also later in the game, potentially moving a runner over. To, to win with, and we want to look at getting that out. Uh, it's, it's great, you know, you sit there and you think for eight, nine, ten year olds, does it really matter? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things cover it early, drill it, work on it every once in a while, and, uh, you know, it'll pay off when it, when it comes down to it. Last thing you want to do is know somebody's going to bond and have no idea what you're going to do with it. Uh, of course, while that's going on, make sure to sign a coach. He's moving outfielders to back it up. Can't tell you how many times, and the reason I like to bunt a lot, that catcher, whoever's going to come up here, he's going to chuck that ball in the right field. That right fielder still hanging out over here. That'll go all the way to the wall and empty the bases. So have your right fielders backing up any of the potential throws, either the third or to second. Or first, sorry.